Hi guys, this is Bo Saku from Bo Saku Creatives. Today I want to teach you three important things to do when you're editing Capture One Pro. Do you edit with Capture One Pro? No, I don't. Or you want to edit in Capture One Pro? Follow. So I've imported my images into Capture One Pro. I have this beautiful model, she's called Comfort. So the first thing you do is to come to white balance. You know, the screen doesn't know colors. So you have to white balance the screen so that the images colors can stand out. So first and foremost, I usually come to the auto correct. So auto corrected, and I'm punching some magenta into it because I want the skin to look like chocolate. You know, she's she's looking like a chocolate. You know? Yeah, she's looking also like chocolate. And I'm punching a bit of blues to give it a cool feel. Then I'm punching a bit of magenta again. Then I quickly come to the haze. So the haze is like the initial stage of punching a bit of contrast into the image. So you pull the slider a bit. Yeah, I like it this way. Yeah, 21. Cool, 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 cool. Then you come, you know, Capture also works like Photoshop. You build layers upon layers upon layers. So the first thing you need to do is to create a layer for high dynamic range. High dynamic range. You quickly come to your high dynamic range, then you start moving the sliders, the highlight, the shadow, the white, and the black. So with this image, I want to pull down my highlight a bit because the flash hits on her forehead and you can see the catch light too in her pep people. Sorry, her people. So I want to push it back a bit. Then I come to the shadows. I open the shadows. I want her brighter. Then the white too. I take it back a bit. Then the blacks too, I'll drag it back a bit to make the color black pop up. So I'm done with the high dynamic range. The next step is to come to Luma. Okay, Luma. So the Luma, slide down, come to curves. You see these three dots here? Click on it, there's a preset there. Then go to contrast RGB, contrast RGB. Click on it, poof. Wow, it's looking out cripsy. You see, you see the whole thing happening here. Let me go back to before, then after. You see the whole thing now changing. That's cool. That's Luma. So after working on this Luma, you come to exposure. Exposure. That's the third most important thing to do, exposure. So you come to exposure. With exposure, you either increase the exposure or decrease it. We're looking at my image, I want to decrease the exposure a bit. So I'll come back a bit. Ooh, this is looking nice now. Now I come to contrast. Because I did contrast with the haze a bit, I'm not going to push a lot of contrast now. Just a small bit of contrast. Ooh. And I come to brightness. Brightness too, I have to pull it down a bit, looking at my image, depending on your image. So all this pulling back and forth depends on the image you're working with. And saturation, I'll go down a bit. So these are the three most important things to do when you're starting to edit a photo in Capture One Pro. In the next episode, you continue from here. Next time I'll come around with another tip on using Capture One Pro to edit your photos. It's both our creative on YouTube, kindly subscribe. On Facebook, both our creatives, Twitter, both our creatives, Instagram, both our creatives, in my bedroom, both our creatives. Catch you next time.